In this video, we're going to take a look at a new feature in Octane 4 for Maya, and that is the Octane Image Tiles Texture. This texture allows you to use multiple textures as a single input into a material. This is very useful if you have an object that has its UV texture coordinates laid out as UDIMs, uh, which is a popular way to lay out UV texture coordinates. So for this example, I'm using the robot02.ma scene, and this scene just contains our little robot bartender character. Uh, if I select the group here, the barbot character or bartender, select the whole group here, barbot, and take a look at the UV editor, you can see that the texture coordinates are laid out across three spaces, three texture spaces, or three UDIMs. To select these objects, you can see I have some objects in the U1 V1 texture space, or 1001. I have others that are in the U2 V1 texture space. And then, for example, the arms I have in the U3 V1 texture space, or 1003. So rather than having to create a separate material for each texture space, I can now use a single material for all of them and then plug the textures into that, which is great. Or I could use a mixed material or combination materials, but I don't have to create so many different textures inputs for the surface. So I currently have an Octane Universal Material applied to all the surfaces. This is also a new feature in Octane 4. We'll talk about it in another video. But what I want to do is I want to add some texture inputs to this material. So uh, I'm going to create an Octane Image Tiles texture. And let's plug it into the albedo of the Universal Material. The object turns black. Take a look at the Universal Material and the Octane Image Tiles texture. You can see that I don't have any textures hooked up to it. And the empty tile color is black. If I change this, you can see the surface changes colors. So if you want to make it obvious what where textures are missing, you can make it like bright green or something like that. We'll just leave it as black for now. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add tiles. So I need to add three tiles to this because I have my surface. I have my object spread out across three texture spaces. One, two, three. So that's three textures. And close this, move this over here, make it a little bit more obvious what's going on. So I'll click on this three times to add texture inputs, and then I'll click on these folders to open up my texture browser. And I have the textures for this robot in a folder called Barbot UDIM. And you can see the way that these are named is very important. I have the name of the texture dot 1001 file extension name of the texture you know base color albedo whatever 1002.png name of the texture base color .1003.png so this is a fairly typical way of naming images that are meant to be used in first surface that has using udims same thing with bump height metallic normal roughness i'm not going to use all of these just the ones that are necessary to shade the robot so let's click on base color 1001 we'll click on this folder 1002 base color again base color 1003 and then if i hit reload we only see the bottom textures appear and that is because the next thing we need to do is adjust the grid size so in this case because i have the uh, textures because i have the texture coordinates spread across one, two, three texture spaces, I need to set this to three by one. So I hit three by one, and you can see now the textures appear. If the textures don't appear, try hitting the reload button just to force it to update. Now let's do the same thing for the metallic textures. So I'm gonna create another Octane Image Tiles texture. Let's click Add Tile three times. And we're going to use the metallic texture, 1001, metallic 1001, metallic 1002, metallic 1003. Set the grid size to 3 by 1. Hit reload. 
the moment we need to adjust our material so that, well, we actually we need to plug in the texture into the metallic input. So let's plug it into the metallic input. Now we can see we have nice shiny metal on our robot. And then the parts that are more of a glossy plastic are kind of looking like this black glossy plastic, which is just what we want. A couple other things about the image tiles texture. If I select on this, this is our base color. So we can change the channel format. I'm going to leave it at auto for the most part. But if we had 16 bit, we could set this to half. If we had a 32 bit, we could set it to float. And then we have other options here. I'm just going to leave it as auto. I'm going to load color type. You can keep source format, or in this case, RGBA. It's actually an RGB texture, so let's just keep source format. For the metallic, I'm going to set this to grayscale. That'll save some texture memory. So let's do a texture for the roughness. So image tiles texture. Let's plug this into roughness. Uh, add our tiles. Set the grid size to three by one and set the color type to grayscale. Now this is still a fairly shiny robot. There are some little splotches here since he does work in a bar he tends to get splattered with drinks so i have little water spots on his top and that's all in the roughness channel so you can see that that's working down here as well he's got a little dirt in both the albedo and the roughness so that's the price you pay for working in a busy space bar um, and then finally we can do bump And the bump on this is going to be fairly subtle, but let's add it anyways. We'll add, click on this three times. Good bump, 1001. Bump, 1002. Bump, 1003. Set our grid size to three by one. Set our color tab, set our color type to grayscale and then plug this into bump hit reload again this is going to be fairly subtle but there's some little scratches and dings here and there you can see the metal down here is kind of rough this is probably a bit more extreme than i want so we can select that and then lower the power and that'll reduce the strength of the bump let's bring it down to something like this there we go so that's pretty good so now we have our robot with all the textures applied, and this greatly simplifies the texture workflow when working with Octane for Maya.